I turned pro my, my senior year in high school, and when I graduated, I moved, I moved to San Diego. I was skating with a lot of the H Street guys and the Planet Earth guys, and we'd go up to Los Angeles and skate with friends up there. My pro career was, was really just three years. Kind of at the end of the second year, I started getting hurt. There was just like a string of, of odd injuries that, that befell me. And um, I kind of started getting into other things. I started getting into photography and, and painting and drawing. Skateboarding culture, it, it, it's people that are riding skateboards, but it's also people that are taking photographs, people that are making graphics, people that are making music, people are doing layouts in magazines. It's all aesthetics in one way or the other, and um, it's always been like that. So I think if you're a skateboarder, you, you, you tend to be maybe a little bit more, you're naturally a little more visually developed and, and visually discriminating. So yeah, there's a lot of invention in painting the same way there's a lot of invention in skateboarding. It's like some people say, well, the spots dictate what the trick is going to be. It's the spot that finds you. It's the spot that dictates what the trick is. And in a lot of ways, that's, that's how painting is. It's, it's that alley and the light and that time of day. And it, maybe there's these trees and then the buildings have these geometric lines and the juxta juxtaposition of those lines against that. That color tree, you know, that's gonna, that kind of determines how the painting is gonna go, but invention or imagination is, is that's really where we make sense of all of it, you know? And, and that's, that's similar to skating because it's, it's, it's like skateboarding in that it's, it's all about interpreting a situation or an experience and, and, and making something of it.